doing everybody? Pretty Griller, pretty excited, got a new smoker. Went ahead and decided to go with the Barrel House Cooker. Really want to start trying to do some charcoal, see if I can figure it out. Everybody that I know kind of teases me because I'm a pallet smoker and the set it and forget it thing. So I want to get into this charcoal deal. Decided to go with the Barrel House. <laughs> a running joke, one of my friends that I have is whenever you order something online, when the, the special description box uh, put draw by a dinosaur on the box, and I like to say they've got a pretty good artist and sense of humor. So without further ado, let's get this thing out of the package. This is the deluxe model. And I went ahead and got the optional accessories pack, so I should be pretty much set to do everything from the get-go. Oh, that's got a bunch of stuff in it. Locked in the face, you don't have to worry about that coming in and out. And if you notice, the charcoal basket's deeper on one side than the other. So when you set it up to do like smaller cooks and your hibachis, this side holds less than this side for your, your longer cooks. tabs, it's kind of hard to show you, there's these little tabs right here that your base is going to clip into, you got the little holes right here, I got the base firmly secured, just took me a minute to figure out what I was doing, surprise, surprise, I'm going to put this together real quick, got everything on the box, took our charcoal basket, set it in here, and took this guy, Accessories unboxed. Figure I'd take a minute, go through, show you what I got. Um, I did get the deluxe model, and I did get the uh, optional accessories package, which they have on sale right now. So uh, I've got my cover, I've got the full grate, got my two half grates, your open frame, the cedar plank, your uh, H frame, which you use for hanging meat, the uh, wider grate grill frame. Uh, the deluxe with the accessory came with a couple extra hooks 
a pizza pan that fits nicely on the top, and a drumstick rack, which we'll be trying out, and a pivot, which is supposed to be your high temp glove, so you can kind of reach in there and not worry about burning yourself. I thought that was definitely a good idea. And one accessory wand, which I showed you earlier is kind of cool how it actually locks into the accessories. Alright, show you guys how the uh, open frame works. It's pretty cool. So you can see the edges are square. So uh, it's got three levels. Your top right here, you turn it, go down to the second. And for what we're going to do right now, I'm going to show you all the way down to the bottom. Just like that. And we'll do our half frames. These are half frames. Something I really like about the way these are set up is here's your your handle. You slip it in through the grate like that, and then it lifts up. And this becomes a pivot, which locks it, which is really secure. You know what I mean? It's not it's pretty secure, it's not going anywhere. And you can see how that kind of works. So you can you can handle the grates while they're they're in here. Think of it as a really fancy game of operation, except instead of hearing a buzzer, you're going to get burned. Those lock in nice just like that. Here's our whole rack. Like I said before, edges square, slides right in just like that. Put this guy right here. So, there's the middle rack, full rack. And this is our H-frame. This is what you're going to use to hang the meat, all that fun stuff. Uh, and also I got the optional grate, which allows me to put stuff up higher along with, uh, you know, finger foods, whatever, as long as I got meat hanging, which obviously you can't do with all this stuff in here. But it just goes sideways. You line these notches up just like that. So, I mean, you can have up to three levels. Small stuff hanging, uh, you know, there's, there's multiple, multiple configurations. Got your thermometer on the top, which they say runs, uh, doesn't run quite as hot as it's supposed to, so uh, that's something I'm going to play with. Uh, but this is the deluxe model, so it's hinged, which I think would be kind of nice. And then it also came with this little pin, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you lift it up like that and it allows you to prop the lid open just a couple of inches so when you're doing uh, like a pizza or something where you want it to cook hotter and you need more airflow, there you go. So you don't have to babysit it, you don't have to wedge something in there that looks kind of janky. You just move the pin and you're in business. All right, the last thing we need to do before we go out and fire this baby up is figure out our elevation. Where I'm at in Wyoming is right about 7,000. Well, according to the side of this, between five and 8,000 is going to be the number three setting. So I'm going to start it with three and just slide this deal over, which I think is pretty sweet. So three looks like it's about three quarters of the way open. So we're going to try that and I'm going to watch my thermometer. I'm also going to use my uh, infrared gun on this, some other stuff. Just play with it. Um, first cook, I'm just going to do something simple. Try to make sure that we're, we're running the right temperature. It lights fine, everything else and uh, see what we end up with. I'll see you guys next time.